Hi there, thank you for joining us today on Premier Presents, and we are very privileged to have Colonel Steve Russell joining us today. Colonel, thanks so much for your time. Well, thanks, Sean. It's great to be with you here. Uh, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, it's our pleasure. And I will define you up front. You may have my head for this as a, as a true American hero. Uh, now, you wouldn't choose those words, but I certainly would, and so many other people will as well. And a uh, founder of Vets for Victory served 21 years in the United States Army and uh, most notably, I think, was uh, ultimately led a team that was responsible for the capture of Saddam Hussein. Well, I certainly uh, was uh, privileged to lead some great soldiers and be a part of the team that, that caught me. Terrific. Well, I'm going to jump right in here with some questions for you. I know time is, uh, time is always of the essence, but leadership is something that you are very passionate about and speak quite often to corporate groups and association organizations. Um, leadership is a, can be a vague term, though. G give us a definition uh, that, that you would define. What What is leadership? Well, a, a leader is someone that can get somebody to, to do something. Uh, a good leader is someone that gets someone to do something that they don't want to do. <laughs> okay. A, a great leader is one that can get someone to do something that they didn't want to do and, and actually get them to like it and then they get it done. <laughs> that would be kind of my summation of uh, the art of leadership. The, the art of leadership. And I'll, I'll ask a similar definition for teamwork. I know uh, you, you spent, I mentioned, 21 years leading teams and being part of teams. What, what's just a, a quick definition that you would give us for, for teamwork? Well, I think uh, the, the key essentials to any team is that they've got to believe in what it is that they're doing. Um, hmm. you, you think about disciples. They follow a set of beliefs. Uh, the same root word is uh, discipline, which is acting on your beliefs. I used to tell my soldiers, uh, show me how you act and I'll show you what you believe. And I think that any team that we build, they've got to believe in what they're doing, and hmm. that makes the team function just so much better. Sure. Well, Steve, I mentioned uh, at the start you, you led the team that was uh, partly responsible for the capture of Saddam. I know so many people watching this want to know uh, what was that like? What did that look like? So I'll ask that very question. How, how did it come to pass and, and what, what brought you to that point in that place? For us, it was geography. I commanded a task force of a thousand soldiers in Tikrit, Iraq. And that's where we were occupying uh, after uh, Saddam's army had been defeated. We mm -hmm. felt that he was possibly in our area because he was from Tikrit, which is his hometown was. And we began to get information that he was relying heavily on his family connections, his social networks. What we learned was that that was a part of an elaborate security apparatus that he had when he was in power. Hmm. Uh, they were still protecting him. And after for gaining intelligence on that through uh, human intelligence with, with the local Iraqis, we felt we could maybe go after these people when working hand in hand with a couple of special operations uh, forces teams that we worked with, and then other units uh, within the brigade of which my battalion was a part. We got another trail, uh, tore into these five to seven families, and uh, after thinning them out, uh, we were able to close the ring on him, and then eventually that led all the way to the hole that Saddam was pulled out of. Well, and that that was a uh, memorable moment for uh, for so many people seeing those images and uh, just hearing that 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 capture had been made was was memorable, and I'm sure uh, it was for you as well. You, you wrote about it. And I'm, uh, it may not be completely visible here in in a, a terrific book. We got him, which has been a great seller, and and uh, uh, I know you're asked quite often to recount that story, and uh, you truly can now say, well. It's in the book, and, and uh, you can you can direct people to the book. I would guess. Well, and it uh, it, it is a compelling story. Of what what it's like to soldier and fight in modern warfare, and it also shows how people solve problems. How hmm. you can take the seemingly impossible, uh, do it under pressure with high stakes. Uh, and how ordinary people can accomplish extraordinary things. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's really a comprehensive look at our military, but it's also a, a very uh, insightful look at what it's like to lead troops in battle. 
sure. Well, and to that point, as I mentioned before, you speak for so many corporate groups and associations and, and speak on the topics of leadership and teamwork and, and using your experience to to drive those points home. What, what are one or two things that you like uh, when someone walks out of an event, a corporate function that you've spoken to, what are one or two things that you want them to leave with? And if they do, you think that was a, that was a successful event? Well, I think in terms of takeaways for leadership, there's so many people that talk about it, and there are good leaders that take different approaches. But I think the thing I try to convey to audiences is nine out of ten people generally will know what to do in a situation, but only one out of ten will actually do it hmm. and okay. actually move forward. Um, you get nothing if you do nothing, and what we see so often in organizations is that people are unwilling to take risks. Um, in battle, you saw it with soldiers. Uh, they know what to do, but they don't want to be the guy that's actually getting up and moving. Uh, we as leaders have to be those risk takers, and uh, we have to inspire our organization. So those are some of the things that I think would be important uh, to train people how to do and how to take risks, not gambles, but take risks and then also uh, Persevere. Don't quit. Uh, we did uh, scores of raids uh, that were trying to find Saddam. If we had lost the faith that we might be able to get him, we could have been one raid short hmm. of success. Uh, same way with my book. Um, a number of publishers completely not interested, but I have firm belief that. Uh, it was worthy to write about, and it was something that was important historically to record, and then Simon & Schuster published it. So you can't sell yourself short, and you can't stop short of the goal. You, you really have to press on on things that you know are worthy of doing. Sure. Colonel, great great wisdom in those words. Uh, I, I, like I said before, I, we would define you as a hero. You wouldn't use those words, but probably the real uh, hero with the last name Russell is your wife, Cindy. Uh, you guys have five children at home is that correct we do uh she would be a good drill sergeant she can uh, <laughs> keep things going and uh i'm i'm very proud of her we've been married uh for uh well it'll be 27 years this year and um I, i'm very blessed to have her uh, but she has been a great compliment and i think that's another thing you'll find on people that accomplish great things historically have always had a very good support base behind them sure. uh, to inspire them and to encourage them. And my wife has certainly been that for me. Well, um, uh, as you said, I'm sure she would make a great drill sergeant. I'm sure you took notes uh, as she uh, ra ran those five kids uh, to, to all the different places they had to be. I'm sure you took notes as a commander of the Army. Yeah, yeah she, uh, she's pretty good at, uh, at getting uh, people to do things don't want to do, you know, with raising <laughs> children. That, that's, she, well, her, her, on that. her leadership book will be next, but I, I want to encourage everyone uh, who's watching this, uh, there, there's some links below. Uh, you can click those links and, and see uh, some video of, uh, of Steve speaking to some different corporate functions, uh, starting to learn more about him, uh, even learn more about the book and ways you could you could acquire a book. Um, Steve, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I know life is busy. We see behind you there uh, your state senate office. Uh, I know in, in uh, conjunction with many other things, uh, you've got uh, political day-to-day uh, um, uh, -day operation and, and uh, commitments, and we appreciate your time. Well, it's my pleasure, Sean, and I'm, I'm very happy to do it. Terrific. Thanks so much. Have a good afternoon. Okay. Thank you.